So I am eating. This is what, can you even see that? Oops, here it is. Oh, hey, hey everybody. Chilies and cherry. Mm. So do you remember last week we talked about like our favorite food, like the, the stress foods, or, yep. And dark chocolate was one of mine. Yes. <laughs> um, this is amazing. So I get this one and then I get a orange. And then I also have, I think I shared that last week, a ginger one. So mm -hmm. these are some of my favorites. So I'm, I'm munching a little bit on some. So if you see me having a little big little chocolate, then there you go. That's okay. Oh. We're having chocolate and wine, wine. and we're carotidating again. So mm -hmm. it's happy hour. Oh, do Welcome we have a happy hat? hour? Welcome we're everybody. Southern soda hats on from Dream and Farms. Yep, our Southern soda. There it is. Wait a minute. There you go. Southern soda. Ooh. There you go. Yep. Yeah, I thanks for the hat, Lance. That's car fan now. <laughs> you do look. Yeah, well, I feel like we're at a race. We're ready to have some cars coming. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> oh, yeah, good time. Just go like like the like the oh, stay, I, I look so funny. Like, okay. yeah. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Somebody's probably tuning in right now and they're like, what just happened? <laughs> Who are these people? Who are what these crazy women and where are they? They must be from NASCAR. <laughs> nope. Well, thank you all for tuning in. I see Susan. Hey Sue. Hey Sue. Thank you for your post this afternoon. Mm -hmm. about making the face mask with the bandana. That's awesome. After trying to make a few myself, it's not as easy as it looks because I am craft challenged. Craft challenge. It's a it's a real thing. <laughs> it's a real thing. It is. Yeah. I we were just talking earlier, like I don't sew at all. Hey Krista. Like even buttons. I can't even sew a button on to save my life. And I took Homac or whatever it was called then, sewing class, whatever it was in high school. So the oh, funny story is, you know, we had Woods class too. Like, you know, you can make things with wood or shops class. I think it's called, oh my gosh, shops and Homac. There we go. Yeah. So I remember my boyfriend at the time in, in like middle school or grade school, not, it was, well, probably junior high. He, mm -hmm. had, we both had shop and we had sewing. He did so much better than me at the sewing. It was hilarious. And then I did better <laughs> making my, wood um coat hanger so yeah oh, not a sore so funny not a we sore. had um home ec, and the boys were only allowed to take shop not the girls wow and then we all had to take piping and i completely lucked out because my typing class was nothing but football players <laughs> <laughs> awesome <laughs> sure. <laughs> Yeah, I I remember typing too, and then I, I wonder if they called it keyboarding too. But yeah, they were just yeah. Now we're dating ourselves, but yeah, that was I know good old days. days. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hmm. do you want to give a quick update on the hand sanitizer situation? Give an update on the sanitizer. I almost feel like I should be like this. But here, I should go. Okay, there we <laughs> oh, go. Rally people. caps. Rally caps. <laughs> <laughs> this is the rally cap here. We're rallying now. So, okay. Update on the sanitizers. Um, we are still on track um, for everything coming in next week. So the plan is that we'll still have everything come on in. We'll get going in full production mode. Um, we did open it up for pre-orders today, which was insane. Um, so I, you know, that it's kind of, We've completely shifted all of our producing and production over to the sanitizers. Um, when there's some downtime, we do a few of the, the staple products that we will always have in stock. You know, some of those face products and, you know, the, the Dr. DZ and some healing and things like that. So, yeah, that's um, that's my latest and greatest, that things are moving fast and we're, we have things in place. Um, we're just waiting on next step of materials. And I've... We've had orders from everywhere, even, you know, we're doing a, a delivery within a, a certain mile radius of our home office, our, our home area. So I'm seeing some other orders coming in from other towns and I know the need is there. We just can't, we, 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 we could do this 24 seven with unlimited materials and probably still be making sanitizers. 
So you know, we're doing the best we can with what we have and what we have coming in that we can source um, as quickly as we can. Something to keep in mind, this hat is so funny. <laughs> I keep looking at myself like, what is wrong with me? <laughs> okay, we'll just take it off for a second. Um, keep in mind that the um, you may get a different looking bottle in between orders. It really is based on what bottles can we get in at that time? So you might get a longer one, you might get a squattier one. For the most part, there'll be spray pumps. If we run, you know, if we can't source them at some point, it'll be a flip top cap. So just bear with us, but um, we're still gonna keep servicing sanitizer as much as we can. So there's my update. All right. Okay, and I will top that off with, due to all of this craziness and awesomeness with the hand sanitizer, we will not, be going live on Monday. Yeah. We are anticipating just uh, 24 7 and we're going to be working through the weekend too. Mm -hmm. So there will no be, there will no be, there will not be a live Monday night. But we'll pick up on Tuesday night. We have our guest speaker, Dr. Ariel Barco. She is, and I'll probably say this wrong, natural naturopathic natural doctor. doctor. Natural Catholic doctor. Yes. So Dr. Ariel will be joining us Tuesday night. And then Wednesday night, we have Teresa Romain from Access Abundance. And Jenna, I'll let you kind of explain a little bit about Teresa and what she does. Yeah, yeah I'm so excited to be sharing her with everybody. Um, so, and some of you maybe have met her just through work with Daisy Blue, but just a, a quick synopsis. She... And she'll probably she'll probably watch this and go like, no, Jenna, this is what I do. <laughs> but to me, this is to me, she's an, she's an inspiration. She's motivational, inspirational. Um, she will be sharing kind of more so about the fear we may be feeling right now, how to maybe refocus and focus on abundance and a focus on you know everything that we do have instead of the scarcity mindset. So a lot of cool things. All righty, okay. Well, I have one special surprise for Jenna. Close your eyes. Me? Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. My eyes are closed. I looked down. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, you're funny. Tomorrow. Thank you. And it's birthday. So Tomorrow is. Yeah. I can get it right. Happy early birthday to Jenna. <laughs> Mwah, mwah. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's going to feel a little different this year for sure. So I, I love it. Uh, I know it stinks. We can't go out and celebrate, but yeah. we'll be with you in spirit. I know. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. <laughs> you do I have know. literally I like know. every, you have everything. Like you, you do hold on to everything, don't you? <laughs> Who has a birthday hat? <laughs> We are actually the family of hat lovers. We have all sorts of crazy hats for all the holidays. It's I just super it. fun. It is fun. So it whoever is fun. it is, has to wear the birthday hat. Obviously. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we just pass so, it around. Just yeah. So so it would, it wouldn't it be cool if you could just pass it to me right now and then I, you know. <laughs> we're really not next to each other, though, people. It, it kind of looks know. like it, but we're we're really not. We're, we're, we're hundreds of Probably thousand. I don't even know how far apart are we. I don't know. That's bad. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It's a ways away. It's a it ways. ways away. That's all I know. I'd have to go overnight. <laughs> and that costs. Oh, that's so. cool. Well, thank you. I thank you for the surprise. I yeah, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Okay. So we're supposed to be talking about homemade face masks tonight. Mm -hmm. So making a face mask from whatever you can find at home. A friend of mine and my neighbor, who is a respiratory therapist at the local Children's hospital, she sent me a link to an article that was written by, um, hold on, Wake Forest Baptist Medical Center. And I posted it underneath the announcement for tonight's show. Mm -hmm. So it has all of the like, true medical doctor information. One of the things that it is uh, the fabric they're recommending was a quilting fabric. Not crafty, no quilting fabric. <laughs> so, yep. so they were recommending 
doing something with layers. So I had looked all over the house, tried to come up with, you know, what do you have at home? What can you use to make that? Yeah. So the first thing I thought about was an old pair of pajamas. Okay. So I cut up my Tinkerbell pants for this. All right. But the cool thing about it that I didn't realize is there's a lap in the waistband. So if you can't find any lap, make your face back. You know, huh. go through your old pants because they've all got a lap in them. Okay. I think I think the pants that I have on right now have that elastic, my little jammy pants. So yeah. yeah. And I'm elastic. not tightening them, so I could cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> you should have the elastic to make them bigger. <laughs> right. That's I think that's what's gonna have to happen in another month. <laughs> I know. I'm getting a circle. You can see my little <laughs> Oh boy, that future episodes yeah. <laughs> joining us on our walk. <laughs> so the other thing I thought of is shoelaces. Okay. And safety, you know, push comes to You could use shoelaces to try it on and do safety pen. And you don't even have to stop, which is perfect huh. for people like me. Yeah. All right. These other little do dealing they actually came in a pack. It was wrapped in something that came, and I don't remember, but it was like a So whenever I it, I um, what can I use? Them? And I just you're, cut, you're you're cutting out, Sharon. So I don't, I at least for me, I only heard a part of that. Um, okay. but I do know that those were things that yeah, you got from Amazon, and they were wrapped around something. Yeah, yes. they were they were holding. Crazy. And they're a lot. Huh. So it's really about finding things in your home that you can use and make your face mask. So I'm curious too, as we go along, um, those that are listening live, if you have your like, hey, I I just made a face mask and here's how I did it, we'd love to hear about it. <laughs> we're getting into some good stuff here. <laughs> so this I took an old Oh, I am. Oh, I'm sorry. I know. I don't and know why, because it's. We thought. It's like it's, it's, I don't know. Is that better? Maybe. It, it it just it's it's not even an echo now, Sharon. It's like it cuts in and out. So maybe it's an internet thing. Maybe it's the heads. Who knows? Darn technology. Hmm. Let's try yeah. it. No. Maybe take Sorry. it off. Maybe go off with the headset. Let's just play. No more NASCAR. It makes my anyway. Is that any? Not really. No. Oh. No. Yeah. Okay. Darn it. You know what? How about I will talk and you you do show and tell. And I'll kind of just talk a little bit. How does that sound? Okay. Because we, we have people on and we want to make sure you're all having a great time. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Andrea or Andrea is on. And I'm sorry if I said your name wrong. I have a friend that's, her name is at, spelled the same way. But I always say Andrea. And everyone's like, no, it's Andrea. So sorry if I just slaughtered your name. But um, we'll get back to, is that your maxi pad or is that something else? That's the maxi pad. Okay. <laughs> Do you know? Oh my gosh, there it is. Always maxi pads. Do you know what's so interesting though? And Sharon, maybe she'll post this. Uh, maybe she can put it in the comments section as we go along from Daisy Blue. But you were actually, your, the RT that you talked to, the respiratory, respiratory therapist said maxi pads are actually not a bad idea. So that's something else you can use with your. You no, know, everyone's like, I am not going out in public in a maxi pad. I, well, if your life depends on it, you might. Um, but yeah, so I love the idea of a maxi pad. Maybe you could even put it like inside of a mask if you have the paper one. So that is pretty interesting that that actually is something that um, works and is recommended. But I'll show you guys mine right now. This is the one I have, and I love it so much. And Stephanie made this for me. And it, it's awesome. She luckily um, had the elastic. She sews, of course. 
but I have been wearing this now. So I was out today. I had gone to our local little food co-op. It's the only place that I'll go into right now. Besides, and that's it. Otherwise, I'll do drive up everywhere else. But I went in there, and I'm I'm like I'm probably one of the first ones you see. And she's like, "Yeah." She goes, "I think we are." So we're not seeing too many wearing face masks yet in our area, but I think that's going to change. So one tip I want to share is after I got home. I thought about, you know, I knew we were doing this call tonight. I'm like, oh, I'm going to put my face mask back on. And I thought, oh, no, how do I know what is front and back? Because you don't want to put it back on and then have the wrong side. So what I saw was Stephanie had put a little initial. I don't know if you can see that, kind of, sort of. But my, my initials on the inside, she wrote my initials in there. So then I know what is the inside every time. And then it's recommended that you wash this after, every, you know, after... A, after use so after you use it for a day you come home then you can wash it so that's been the recommendation at this point so i feel very blessed that i have one i'm very lucky i have one um we had a, a few of them at daisy blue because we do use them for some like the paper ones you know those blue ones that i'm talking about we have some of those in stock but other and they're you know disposable so other than that that's about all we have um i'm wondering like no, probably not. Because I was thinking, would a hairnet work? Like, could you make a face mask with a hairnet, do you think, Sharon? No. Okay. Yeah, probably it probably wouldn't have enough coverage, I suppose. So yeah. I like the I like the mask. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thanks, Tara. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think that is I love a maxi pad though. Did you make one with a bra? I tried. You tried. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> so I've seen some like the memes on Facebook with people like the joke of it, but I'm like, you know what? I don't I think we may end up seeing some people manufacturing face masks using bras. That might happen next. So it's a good time to be a woman, I guess. We have we have a lot of these on, on hand. <laughs> so like the um the line. Okay. The lining was too thick. Okay, so it probably felt warm and yeah, yeah, yeah. So what else do you like? I know there was some other things that you were gonna show. Um headbands. Oh, the little headbands. So yep. So if you have headbands around, that could be something like if you have the cotton piece or a bandana, you've probably seen some of those bandanas before. You can actually do some of that with it as well. So show and tell time, kids. All right, so while you're watching her, I'll kind of peek through here. Oh, thanks, Krista. That's a good idea. Hey, Heather. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Did you just, did you come up with these on your own or did you find these somewhere, Sharon? No. On your own? A little of both? Yeah, I just have a salmon. Yeah. For those joining, we're wearing our Southern Soda um, baseball caps because we had Lance Perkins on from our CBD company the other night. So we wanted to give him a shout out even tonight while we're having our cocktails and sharing about face masks. And Sharon, <laughs> you look like you're going to go rob somebody. <laughs> Hold on. I know the I that's, a really, that's a really pretty, um, is it a scarf or a bandage? What is that? These are my belt but they're what? Tinkerbell. Pajama. Tinkerbell. Oh, it's Tinkerbell on there. Oh, <laughs> Sharon the princess. Okay. I love it. <laughs> I love it. All right. This is a project. Yeah. It works better early. But if you're in a punch, you can yeah. make it. So, yeah. The point is, is that don't go without there's things in your home that you can make and use um make sure you read the articles that sharon posted about um, recommendations too because oh my we may we may look really intelligent tonight <laughs> but don't We're don't just trust our advice on face masks <laughs> okay beautiful you use the okay. hold it in place put the bands on to hold it in place. Gotcha. So, yeah. so if you don't have, yeah, like some type of an elastic like this to go around, then mm -hmm. yeah, improvise, improvise. So she has shown shoelaces and yes. And I think that's important too, because you want to make sure like it's solid, like up on top here, as well as underneath as much as you can. 
So, mm -hmm. and really, I mean, the face mask, so when you guys start seeing me out and about wearing one, because I started, I started, um, it's not only for, you know, obviously my protection, but it's for people around me as well. So I think we should point that out. Like a lot of people are like, well, I'm not, I feel fine. I'm not going to wear one. Well, okay. But you, maybe you have something you could be a carrier. You could pass it on to someone else. And, you know, just thinking like a lot of times you may sneeze. I mean, allergy season has kicked in. I actually have been sneezing a little bit and, and having some sneezing, coughing going on. And um, I know it's allergies coming in. And so just knowing that that's that, that going on too. I think there's also a unreal, well, do we say unrealistic? There's, a, you know, coughing in public is not as, um, as kosher as it used to be. <laughs> so if you're coughing in public or coughing around, you know, people are going to look at you and get a little worried. So I think having a face mask on too covers, covers. Yeah. Another hand. What is that? Oh, a pair is socks. Oh, funny. Oh my gosh. There you go. A pair of socks. I would have, I assume those are clean. Probably not. <laughs> Just Sterling socks. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I know, I know. And then you can just use the elastic the same way then, I suppose, right? Headbands or ties or whatever you have. So did you see Chris, Krista had posted an idea? Um, I took cloths. Oh, it kind of went down a little bit. Oops, I can't see it now. It, I took cloths, something with glued strips of Velcro and slid shoelace through the folded part. And the Velcro is covered up with the cloth. So I, I don't feel the belt. It requires no sewing. Oh, I love no sewing. Huh. Oh, that's, a great idea. that's crazy. Yeah, I love that idea. Thank you. Thank you. Because I'm clear, I am not a Stephanie to be able to sew something like this. <laughs> and it's, it's, you know, I know the pattern has been shared and people are making these for a lot of the nurses. Um, I will tell you, we, we were originally going to try and offer them, but because the sheer need and, and everything we just there's I don't think she can get materials into to complete um, but we did provide some to um, some nurses so we did su supply at least a couple dozen for some nurses and you know here's what we're hearing is is that it's not even just um, you know the medical field obviously but you think about or even individual it's also a lot of people that um, work in the hospital or clinic, but maybe they're not in the emergency room. Maybe they're not front line, right? That, so all of their supplies are getting, a lot of them are getting pulled and, you know, moved down to those that are in the front line. So then that leaves them without something. So yeah, it's just, it's been crazy. It's been fun to see a lot of companies stepping up though and either making them or, you know, finding, finding them and donating them. And that's been great. That's been great. Yes, it has. Everyone's pulling together. Yes, for sure, for sure. So wear your mask, right? Wear your maxi pad. <laughs> wear your sock. <laughs> whatever you can do. Whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. It does get And you have it does to breathe. Yes, yep. I will say for those that do have any material, um, find the patterns for these. I think, you know, if you, if you sew, I've been told they're not too difficult um, for us non-sewer people. <laughs> that is, Sharon had all kinds of ideas for you. So <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I love it. Yes. Yep. Is there any, any questions before we end our happy hour with all of you? We'll give it a minute to see if anything pops through. So I'm excited for next week because we have Dr. Ariel Barkheim and we have Teresa Romain coming on. Um, yeah, that, it'll be it'll be a lot of fun. Lance was great. You know, we're still hearing some great feedback on on him and even just, you know, he he knows his stuff. Right. He knows he knows his stuff. So, again, a shout out for him, too. So oh, I like that. Good idea, Sharon. Yep. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. And thanks for the birthday shout out. I appreciate it. So it'll be a fun day tomorrow hanging out with you. <laughs> I hope you have a good day. I'm not working. I, I, well, I might work a little bit, but I will be staying put. Okay, good. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'll take care of me tomorrow. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's what we should do. We should have another one, maybe, Sharon, on the like a number one tip for taking care of yourself. And, you know, maybe something outside the box that people may not think about. Because I think some of the basics are always like taking a bath or, you know, going for getting vitamin and going out in nature. You know, those are some of the you know, meditation with things like that. It'd be interesting. Maybe we should talk about that sometime on, on one of these episodes if you guys are interested. Um, Cause we'd love to hear like, what's your, you know, how do you take care of yourself? Something different that people may not have thought about for self care. So, all right, we ready to wrap, wrap it up. Okay. All right. Cheers to everyone tonight. I've switched over to rosé this evening, so cheers. Cheers to you, Sharon. <laughs> thank you, and happy birthday. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I like these Friday nights. These are good. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, for sure. Shout out to Lance. There it is, Southern Soda. There we go. Okay, we got it, we got it. Thank you. Get that formed a little. All right, thank you, everybody. Um, yeah, I love it. I love it. All right. We will see you guys next Tuesday, next Tuesday. So we'll see you then. We will look forward to seeing you on Tuesday with Dr. Ariel. So make sure you're on because she's going to have a lot of great things to share for everybody. So, awesome. You too. Bye, everybody. <laughs>